Hello Kickstarter, Jack here, and as you can see, we just reached funding for this Kickstarter project. We're fully funded and ready to proceed. I'm so excited to go forward with this project, and I wanted to just take a minute to thank you all very much for backing the project, and also to talk a little bit about the next stretch goal. Now, the next stretch goal is to add a wishbone bus to the Arduino over something like a SPI or something like that and uh, this is probably one of the coolest um, stretch goals that we have and I just wanted to take a second to explain it a little bit more so if we look at an example sketch that we have where we connect a Commodore 64 SID audio chip um, we're let's look at the the circuit so we click on this and it's going to bring it up in the ISE schematic editor So if we look at the schematic, what we have here is we have a we have a ZPUino soft processor, which it has a wishbone bus already built into it. Now what we're talking about for this is to create a wishbone bridge for the Arduino. So we're going to look at how it's done with the ZPUino soft processor for now, but with this new wishbone bridge, we'll be able to get rid of this ZPUino soft processor and instead use a bridge that allows us to connect multiple wishbone peripherals to uh, the Arduino. And now the benefit of this is that the wishbone bus kind of acts like an ISA or a PCI bus for an FPGA. So it allows us, or rather it acts like an ISA bus for the Arduino in, in this case where we'll make the uh, Arduino wishbone bridge. So it allows us to connect peripherals very easily into the internal memory space of the Arduino. Now with this bus, if we want to add a Commodore 64 SID audio chip, we, we don't need, normally we would have to wire up all the individual pins uh, to the pins of the Arduino and that can become very time consuming. Instead, what we can do is we can simply go into our symbol library and find our wishbone peripherals and one of them is the Commodore 64 SID audio chip so we would just drag it out and drop it on a free uh, an open wishbone slot in this case we're dropping it on wishbone slot 5 and then we you know it's as simple as that and then we would you know connect the rest of the circuit like it was um, then when we synthesize this circuit and we load it to the uh, FPGA, we go back to our sketch and we have that Commodore 64 SID audio chip available to us. Uh, and all we have to do is we use the SID libraries to interact with it. So uh, here's a link to, well, let's just walk through what it does. So it's as simple as, you know, in your sketch you do setup and then you specify which in the setup you specify which wishbone slot we're connecting to so we're connecting to wishbone slot 5 and then the library give us the library gives us easy to use functions such as setting an instrument and then playing a note um, and we can look at the the SID libraries click on this link and it will bring up uh, you know the web page that gives us all the functions that are available to us and uh, it's also broken down into two libraries, one for the voice. So, you know, we can do set note, set frequency, uh, you know, set the sawtooth at square. So it's a very quick and easy way to add peripherals without worrying about the details of how it connects. It's just like you would take a, a video card or an audio card and or sound card and plug it into the ISA or PCI bus of your computer this allows us to connect peripherals quickly quickly and easily into a bus connected to the Arduino now so that's the easy way to use it now maybe some more advanced users are interested in the nitty-gritties and getting down into the details so another thing you could do is you could bring up the data sheet to the Commodore 64 SID and you can look at all the control registers so, you know, say we wanted to set the frequency, manually set the frequency, 
we would look at the data sheet and we would see that you need to communicate with the first address or the first register of the chip. So we could do that. We can bypass the libraries and uh, set up our code to directly interface with the underlying hardware. So there's actually a, a pretty standard way of accessing the registers connected to a wishbone slot uh, or the wishbone bus. And we'll have examples of all this. Uh, this is all just being copied and pasted for now. But basically this little macro or define will allow you to set, you know, once again, what wishbone slots were, slot we're connected to, in our case five. And then it defines uh, the SID reg register. So within our code, we should be able to just paste in a piece of code like this. And what this will do is going back to our data sheet, we could see that register zero sends, sets the frequency, the low portion of the frequency for voice one. So if we write to register zero and we write a 127, it's going to set the frequency to 127. So uh, we can do so on and so forth and set all of the registers of the Commodore 64 SID audio chip. And so it acts just like a actual audio chip directly wired to our Arduino. However, it's greatly simplified because we can just drag and drop it and connect it to the bus and we don't have to worry about how it's all wired up. So uh, I hope that is a good example and uh, thank you for watching and if you have any questions please post them to the update. Thank you.